In this video I will guide you through the Firebase setup for Expo Native and Web and uh, it will also work in Expo Go. But uh, let's first go through the setup in the Firebase console. If you don't have a project create one and then go to project settings and then add an application. I already have a few applications set up for Android, iOS and the web. It's easy, just add an app and select your platform and you will get screen like this. But what you need to do is download the Google services file, save it in the root project. Same goes for iOS, Google services info list. And for the web, you will also have the configuration similar as this one. And I load the web through the environment variables. You will see soon enough uh, how I load it. To set up Expo app configuration, it's important to have Google services file in the path and configured in the app configuration and same goes with Android. For Rep it is slightly different and what I never do is uh, commit these files, uh, not because it's something secret, this is a public file, if I were to reverse engineer it I could get a hold of the Google service info list and same goes for Android, but it's something that I, I don't think it needs to be versioned. Uh, when using Expo in native you will need the React Native Firebase app and also Crashlytics, uh, Out and other modules that you use uh, from Firebase, but this guide is just to show you how to configure a React Native Firebase, uh, sorry, Firebase for web and native. But what's important to know is that this library won't work on the web and it won't work for Expo Go. Uh, that is okay because Firebase Firebase integration for web will replace the functionality of React Native Firebase somewhat. It is more limited, but you should get the usual features like authentication, access to real-time DB, storage. You won't have access to Crashlytics, but that's okay. Crashlytics you need in the native part. Also, when you install React Native Firebase app, and always when you install a native module, I always like to call Expo install React Native Firebase any kind of module because uh, it will get rid of the usual dependency version conflicts. It will install the version that works for that Expo SDK. And for your reference, I'm using the Expo 52. When configuring React Native Firebase, it's important to have Google services file in the paths and also declare your React Native Firebase modules in the plugins. As for the Firebase for the web part, I have my configuration set up in the environment variables. I will gladly set it up in Expo constants, but I read it's being deprecated and indeed it doesn't work in the web. I can't access the configuration or extra fields, so yes, I use the environment variables anyways. Fill in the fields that you get from the web configuration in these fields and my Firebase for web looks like this. And it is initialized just by calling the initialize app. What's important to note that Firebase can only be initialized once, otherwise it will throw an error. And what I usually see how people so solve this issue is uh, by checking if there are already apps that are running. If there are running, return the first app, otherwise initialize that app. And now to the next part. And as for how I load it in the Expo Go, native and web, I have it divided into two modules. And why the platform specific module? If I was importing or at least requiring a module of Firebase native even dynamically, it would be included in the bundle. So I will have an error on the web. To make it work, I definitely may have to make a platform specific module. And for the native part, I made it work for Expo Go is I check if the app ownership is Expo. If it's running on web or Android or iOS, it is null. And only in the case of Expo Go, it is marked as Expo. And in that case, I require the Firebase web configuration. And for everything else, I require the Firebase native. I know this is deprecated value, but I don't have, I haven't looked into what's the new way of checking if it's running in Expo Go. 
And to showcase how it works in the native part, I have it running Android folder is created. And my app looks like this. Firebase is loaded, platform OS is Android, and ownership is of course null, because it will be Expo only in case of Expo Go. And it also works in the web, so Firebase, yes, it's loaded, Flowerform OS is web, and ownership is, of course, null. And the last thing to check is if it works in the Expo Go. So let's delete the Expo, the Android folder, and just run Expo. And let's see if it also works in Expo Go. That last part, the ownership says Expo, it confirms that it is running in Expo Go on the Android platform and Firebase is loaded. So, for checking if Firebase is loaded, I have my checking of if get apps is bigger than zero, but you should definitely get a report if it's not, if it's misconfigured earlier. So in case of native, it would be probably missing Google services file and you should get an error already in build time, I think. And while in web, you should get an error in the console. Even this is just a simple example, I wanted to show you how you can make it work in Go, native and web. And I'll focus on more features in the future. Firebase related tutorials. Thank you for watching this video.